What's up guys? Dallas of Blade HQ here at Blade Show 2022 here in Atlanta, or Hot Atlanta as I like to call it. Very hot. Very hot. From wow, Utah. speaking of hot, I have like something chasing me right now. It might be Cougar <laughs> Man Kyle from We and Sabibi. I can't get I away know. from him, guys. I'm and, always here. I'm just gonna follow these guys around. So I'm not a cougar, but I chase him often. Anyway, <laughs> Kyle, how you doing, man? Doing, doing well. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, we. I mean, people out there in our channel, they know you, so yeah. it's not like a thing. But what do you do for We and Sabibi? Dude, I help Seth out, so you guys are familiar with Seth. Yep. He runs their YouTube stuff and their marketing here in, uh, in the states, and I kind of help Seth out wherever I can help him out. So come yeah. to shows. <laughs> Help him on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I mean, we love Kyle to death. Kyle's he's a he's a homie. He we love him. Obviously. Yeah. Let's start with the first one. Okay, first one. So a few things to go over, right? We have a lot of new prototypes. Yes. Yep. And this is just prototype stage. We're figuring out what's going to be the end the end knife, right? So this first one, I'm trying to name the name. I think it's a Typhus. Very unique. You ready for this? It's like a two position fixed blade. Okay, so when, once we're done prototyping with it, it will ship with a sheath and it'll store in your push dagger form. Okay, so you can pull it out from your belt or something mm -hmm. like that, right? And then once you have it out, you can have it in the push dagger and or a small a little fixed blade. blade. This, this is killing me. I've, I've been watching this and playing with this thing. It's kind of killing me, man. I, I don't want to like it, but I love it. It's, Does that make it's sense? Unique. It's, it's unique. It's so as heck. unique. Maybe it's not super practical, but it's definitely fun to have in the collection. But here's the thing. <clears throat> I mean, you can go into the push dagger form, right? You yeah. can get up in there. For me, my fingers don't fit real well because you know I got these bad hands. <laughs> but I mean, again, for me, if I needed it and store it, it's kind of fun, kind of kind of cool, yeah. right? Tactical a little bit. But I mean, and then you go into the practical. Yeah. Tactical to practical. In my opinion, dude, that's Man, great. Tactical, you're to welcome practical. for the tagline. Boom. Uh, and again, prototypes, so we don't have pricing or anything like that. Pricing on these, mm -hmm. we're all gonna range that wee price range, right? So okay. from two hundred dollars up to that three fifty. To range the three fifty range. On most sure. of these knives. Okay. Perfect. Next one, another very unique knife. <laughs> Not something that you generally don't see on a knife. I don't think I've ever seen this on a knife. There's a a lock, a number lock on this knife. Okay. <laughs> So great, it's a, it's a liner lock, working on a thumb stud, a nice probably two and a half, a three and a half inch blade, yep. full tie, but on the back here, you have a lock and your number code, right? So when it's closed, when you push this right here, there's a bar. Oh, so I'll show I see you, it. yep. Right, and I'll show the camera. There's a bar that will go inside and it'll hit what would technically be your blade stop or yep. your flipper tab. Or flipper tab, yep, yep. Right? And then once you twist this, once it's locked, you'll see the one of the, they like to get stuck a little Again, bit. Yeah, it is a prototype, but it's been played with a lot, yeah. so. So, okay, I was able to spin this guy right here. Now that's locked. Open that. That is so funny, dude. So, as unique as it is, there is some, like, maybe use for it, because, I don't know, we all, some of us have well, kids. Yeah. Still great action on it. Oh, it's it. great action. It feels good. It's got a lot of handle bias, which I personally like. Yeah. I can control the tip. I don't have to worry about it anyway. For we sure. won't get into all that, but yeah, dude, this is this one here really blew my mind from the the fit and finish, and that lock just really blows my mind. Super I don't know. Unique. Have you ever seen this on I've a knife? I've never seen that done. You know a lot about knives. I I don't I know have, a lot. But yeah, I know a little know a bit. Lot. Don't be. He's being <laughs> modest, folks. He's being modest. I have never ever seen this, and that is awesome. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, super fun. Interesting. All right, next one. Ready? This is actually probably my favorite. Well, this yeah, one's okay, cool. not one of my favorites. But. Front flipper. This yes. one's designed by Ostop Hell. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's been doing a lot of designs for us. Yeah, I'm he's been doing a lot it. of different stuff for us. Called the Baloo. This one's using. I want to say this is not using carbon fiber. Yeah, we got like a, a carbon fiber G10 mix, I think, yep. on there. Well, and this the is the prototype. You're saying yep. it's a prototype. Um, this one is with a 3.3 inch blade on there. Uh, doing like kind of like a bolster, it's like a what sub bolster, kind of like a liner lock, right? Yes, yep. So, kind of, yeah, it is actually the bolster liner lock. I can never flip those open, well, that's and I can flip that dude. open, dude. I'm like a natural. Oh my gosh, you can do front flippers, I can guys. do front flippers, and I imagine you being we, I imagine you guys are gonna have some carbon fiber coming out. Yes. And, 
and titanium. Tons, like, tons of different flavors yeah. in these. And yeah, I'm super stoked. O Stop Hill's been doing a lot of stuff for us, so it's been super fun. That is awesome. That is actually a great design. This is the one I'm super excited for. So then, yeah, this next one is the the Soothe Sayer. Okay? Soothe Sayer. I want to say like, Slayer. Slayer. I always want to say Slayer. Seth, Seth was getting on me because I kept saying Slayer. Soothe Sayer. Sayer. Is that Sayer. modified there? This one's a brand new one for Blade Show. Uh, yeah. We got here. We kind of pulled those out of the mat. We're like, whoa, we didn't even see pictures of these. So super fun using the cool carbon fiber and... Is Let's that turn cool? it around there. Yeah, the bronze. No, it's not bronze. It's like copper. It's copper. Yep, the copper carbon fiber there. So super cool. Both titanium bolsters. You got three and a half inch blade. And again, like with Wii stuff, you're using 20 CV blade steels and 390. Yep. All your ultra premium blade steels. And then a deep carry pocket clip. Deep carry pocket clip. Yeah. Oh, man. So super cool. That one will most likely be on the like your guys' website and other retailers. I website, love the so. car. The car. <laughs> I love the copper in there, man. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. So it kind of has cool that. Barrel spacers yeah, it kind of has that. It uh, uh, gives me that topo kind of yeah. look, you know? It's like a little mat. So, so, yeah, that one will probably be on the website for 255 I believe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, ready for this one? What's that? I know the knife world is it's so excited for this one. Yes. The Snacks. <laughs> the Snacks Vision. Snacks is the, the designer, and this is the Vision R. This is using his, oh yeah, his okay. Lock, okay, his lock mechanism, right? I think I saw this before. I think I did. So super cool. I actually had probably got twenty of these here at the show. Sold them all within the first hour. Yep, I say I we, saw some. They went fast. So very cool to be able to get a snacks in your pocket. Another model that you might be familiar with is the Mini Buster. Yeah, that's the one I'm that's actually That's another very model with. that Snex designed for us. And so, yep. super stoked on this one. Full tie, a very unique placement of pocket clip, and then also another unique locking mechanism. So, yes. We it's, are very stoked for this one as well. God, you can see the lock in there, locking up out of yeah. that hole. I wonder, I wonder if I can demonstrate this for the camera properly. But yeah, it, I it hope they can see it. It doesn't take much, does it? No, not at all. Like it, and you can just use that as the lock itself and, and kind of just flick it You know, it I'm a huge fan of these of these uh, uh, style of knives and locks that keep your fingers out of the way. Yeah. Uh, you know, I get these for my daughters or my, my sons or something, you know. Yeah, yep. I like this. Man, I You're love right. it. What's the price on this one? Price point, I believe it would be 250 And about $250. Might, I would say that's going to be your average for most of these new models. Perfect. Run over to the website, bladehq.com. Check out coming soon and new arrivals. As soon as these come available, we will have them up on our website and possibly even pre-order for a lot of them. Um, yes, sir. Kyle, as always, and it's, it's not like we don't live like you know a couple miles apart, but yeah. um, as always, it's great <laughs> to have you and it's fun Thank to you. see you here at the show. Uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.